Hey guys, this is the Terminator, and this is part 67 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. Uh, so, for those of you who have not seen the new Mods of the Week video, first off, uh, sorry for the absence, part due to work, part due to school, part due to laziness, mostly due to laziness, uh, quite honestly. But anyways, I'm back now, uh, making videos again, as you can see. Uh, second thing I need to explain is that, uh, for some un unknown reason, I d honestly not sure what did this, I... Did download the New Vegas Mod Manager. I think that might have had something to do with it, but uh, I'm not sure. But all, pretty much every one of my old mods was deleted. Uh, so I've been gradually reinstalling them, but I haven't gotten all of them back yet. I'm still missing a lot of big ones like uh, Project Nevada, Fook, uh, which is why Veronica's wearing the riot gear instead of the uh, Brotherhood uh, combat armor she had last time. So I'm hoping to have all that back by like midweek or end of the week. Uh, but... We'll see. Uh, anyways, yeah, right now it's just pretty bare bones, uh, missing most of the really nice overhaul mods, so that's unfortunate. But even with that, I would still encourage you guys to give New Vegas Mod Manager a try. Uh, it's a very cool mod, and, uh, or not mod, just utility. I think it's going to be very useful in the uh, long run for the game. So anyways, this is going to be a short video. I don't have a lot of time right now. I just wanted to kind of, again, back, get back into the habit of making a fair amount of videos a week on a regular basis. Uh, this would be the... Technically the Monday video, although it's a bit late at this point, so apologies for that. But we're going to go in and I think just see Mr. House and you'll know, do some of the dialogue there. Because might as well get that out of the way if it's going to be a short video anyways. So yeah, let's go talk to the creepy cowboy robot. Well howdy partner, good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Yep, creepy. I see you brought a friend. Sorry partner, but they're going to have to stay outside. No problem, I'll head up by myself. Wonder if Willow follows me. She probably does. Oh, sorry for cutting them off there. <laughs> well, actually, I, I, maybe they don't want me in yet, actually. I, I, it's been so long since I've done this part, I honestly don't remember. Uh, it's been a while since I've talked to House in any of my playthroughs. Yep, Willow follows you in. Thought so. Custom companions usually aren't bound by the same restrictions uh, as the normal ones, just because... Uh, Typically, uh, custom companion makers will just leave out the, uh, the string of code or whatever you want to call it in the GEC that uh, applies, you know, the, the follow rules or the follow limits and stuff like that, and even just the companion tag to them in those series. Oh, maybe I do have to dismiss her, actually. Where to, partner? Nope, I don't, yeah. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, GEC, uh, with the coding in GEC, uh, custom companion makers will just leave out the tags, I, I, I've seen this myself, I've done some of this myself, so I, I can speak from experience here. They'll just leave out the tags that identify them as companions in that respect, so it just lets you circumvent the restrictions entirely with ease, which is quite nice. And that's why Willow and other custom companions will follow you into other places, um, into places like the DLCs and stuff like that, because they, they don't have the tags that the game needs to recognize them as uh, as companions. I Can I run through here? I think I, this is a wall. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Yeah, also, I apologize for the game looking a little crappy. Uh, I've had the anti aliasing turned down because my computer's running hot again, so I need to find uh, a good middle ground because I can't run the fans, uh, the exterior fans, while recording due to uh, ambient noise issues. But for now, uh, this it may look like this. I'm going to try and get two times anti aliasing on because, you know, quite frankly, it looks like shit without it. But we'll see. So let's talk to the classy computer zombie corpse guy who's hiding under there. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. Yeah, almost four DLCs I have to worth. Ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do there you make? Actually, four DLCs see? worth. Yeah, we've been through all of them, haven't we? Uh, or we'll accept that money. Yeah, because I'm not playing through that again. <laughs> Great story, terrible gameplay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I prefer the wasteland, to be honest, because you know I do. You aren't going to ramble on about the virtues of life out in the wastes, are you? It's a desert, you do realize. That's why it's badass, survival of A radioactive desert where humans subsist in a barbaric state. Difficult to glorify convincingly. They are, however, aptly named. Again, badass. For that's what you'd be out there, wasted. Here on the Strip, your talents can be put to use. Yep, I have no doubt. Shall we get down to business? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me, and I want it recovered. Simple enough. 
Yeah, it's a lot of egg on his face that, you know, his super death laser ultimate weapon ship, you know, got misplaced and stolen by some random guy in a suit. But I think he'd put more security on it next time. And I know his reason for not doing it. But even so, what do you propose? And I'm not going to go into too much in-depth dialogue with this because unlike with all the, the DLC characters, we all know House. We've all talked to House, like, un uncountable un amount of times. Uh incalculable actually I don't know if that's a think uncountable is a word might have just made that up uh, but in any case uh, we all know House we all know his dialogue so I'm just going to proceed forward through the scene or through the, the basic stuff and again for the record I intend to start with the NCR through this on this playthrough simply because uh, the NCR I, there's a mod to let you side with the Brotherhood or keep the Brotherhood alive inside with House but uh, it doesn't have kind of the full features of that actually sign with the NCR to keep the Brotherhood alive, like the ending features and stuff does as far as I'm aware. So we're going to sign with the NCR. Plus, I just like them the best, quite honestly. And if you would like, I can uh, go on as to why I prefer them in some length uh, in previous videos, but uh, or in later videos. But for right now, let's just do this. Right, so what do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. Yeah, we'll be killing the whole four when instead of letting Benny die, because he's awesome. I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Acceptable. It's a good start. Oh, barter check. There we go. It's a good start, but well below market price. Very well. Five times the bonus. Not one cap more. Uh -huh. 1250 caps. I accept your terms. Yeah, you don't want to push house. He's kind of... Kind of ball bust. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I'll return when I have the chip. Until then. All right, time to go talk to the NCR guy. And funnily enough, uh, because we are now in uh, New Vegas, uh, Wolpe and Calcula, or however the hell you say his name, I don't know the Latin pronunciation, I think right now we're still at horrible uh, legion yep uh, he should wipe away all of our negative uh, legion reputation despite the fact that we literally nuked them congratulations partner the boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite all right you can bring your friends too be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together just bear in mind you're the only one gets to see the boss any friends you got they can wait in the suite Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Let's go to the casino. Yeah, so we, we got the lounge, which is, or the the suite, which casino is nice. Floor. Because uh, up until this point, it, before you have the suite, uh, when you ever you want to dis dismiss a companion, you basically only have the, uh, you know, go screw yourself, I don't want to ever see you again option, which... It, this is the way the dialogue is worded. It, it's implied that you're you're sending them. You you don't want to travel with them anymore. But oftentimes you just you just need them to wait somewhere because you need to go do something where they can't come, and it's just kind of annoying to have them run over the map. Hey, you there? Also, I have you a just feel bad. It. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Yep, this is the NCR summons. Here you go. And this will wipe away all uh, negative reputation. But anyways, uh, and yeah, the Legion guy should be somewhere down here. He'll come up, possibly. I'm not sure if you've already vilified. If it should still activate. But anyways, uh. Now that we have the, the Lucky 38, we can tell companions to go there, which is a much milder goodbyes instead of like, you know, just get the hell out of here. It's, you know, just go wait for me in the suite, so. All companions like that differently, of course. Yeah, he should have approached by now. Oh, that's weird. Well, let's go talk to Crocker. Or maybe, maybe we won't. Uh, there's not that much. I want to do a shorter video it's today, so. Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, communion guy is one of the ones you can recruit for the... Uh, X at the top, along with the Lonesome Drifter. Actually, we could go confront Benny, actually. And again, if you're wondering what, if you're, not again, if you're wondering what Willow has, that's the uh, Joe Valentine uh, BSAA outfit from Resident Evil 5. So, let's figure I'd go over that again, because uh, it has been some time since I've done any of these videos, and it is... Oh, crap, we have Veronica behind, but it is a... Uh, not a normal game armor, although I find it still fits pretty well in the setting, and it's a really awesome looking custom armor, so uh, again, that's one that I would definitely recommend people check out, because uh, it's pretty fantastic. I do have to remember to activate the mod I made for it to make it actual armor, though, because it's, it's got stats reflective of what its stats should be, which is to say, very weak, but uh, You're making me carry the heavy stuff, or... oh, I, Wait, I need you to follow me. Duh. Okay. Aww, just when the standing around was getting exciting. 
While I do prefer uh, Fallout 3 overall in terms of gameplay, I will say that the, uh, the refinements they added into New Vegas uh, were much needed and pretty awesome with the companion wheel. That's one thing. The companion wheel is probably the thing I miss the most when I'm going back to 3, because I, I do like playing with companions. Again, pretty much thanks to uh, Veronica in New Vegas, I have become a habitual companion user, because she saved my ass for like, the first half of the game, thanks to Andrew Ruben's being terrible at launch. But, uh... I was just going to scrub all my hotkeys. Uh, oh yeah, we might as well. But anyways, uh... Just completely lost my train of thought. I apologize. Companions, uh... What was I talking Oh yeah, the companion wheel. And yeah, that, I really miss that in 3, just because it's, it's such a smooth and uh, easy-to-use feature. Uh, and that's something that 3 really needed in terms of ordering people around. Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Topso Hotel and Casino. Love these guys. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. There isn't a lot that changes their suits. I should look into that. I like the gray suits, but I think it gives them black suits or something. I'll have to double check that. Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Yep, I bet. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. What does that even mean? Like... Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we I got dig. that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Stop making terrible puns. Have a good time, baby. But no, yeah, I love the chairman. The chairmen are awesome. Again, I can never bring myself to kill Benny just because he's such a classy dude. Hey, these guys the roller. are all just incredibly classy. And Benny should be top of the staircase, I think. He's supposed to be here, if I recall correctly. Great. Is he not? Uh, have a, let me check the status of the main quest. He should be here. Oh, so many. Uh, yeah, there's so many DLC quests. Is he down here in the casino? Right, right, okay. We'll do some of uh, Terrible paratrooper in on him. And yeah, again, I don't have Project Nevada installed right now because all my mods got wiped and I couldn't do any downloads last night. So, we're going to get all that stuff back. I have a lot of food downloaded right now and I'll be sure to reinstall all the other stuff. But that's why the crosshair is crappy. I can't sprint and stuff like that. So, we're just going to drop down right on top of him because, you know, it's funny. Oh, Will gets to keep her gun and. <laughs> yeah, see, again, you see another example of. Since she's not uh, tagged as a companion in some aspects, uh, she gets to keep her gun when we're in the casino, so... It's another uh, way which my custom companions circumvent the uh, normal companion limits. So, uh... uh what in the goddamn... He's Let's really surprised that I'm flying down at him right now, huh? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. Ah. Damn right. Uh, seems you need to work on your marksmanship. I'll we'll just stick around I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick-skulled? Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally <laughs> sleep at night, knowing you didn't Yeah, okay, die. Ben. What's ben, I just can't stay mad at you. Go ah, somewhere's more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Uh, you'll answer my questions now, not later. It can't work like that, baby. Not out in public like this. You really need me to spell that out? And yes, if you have the Black Widow perk, you can just basically, uh, if I recall correctly, just, just hit on him here, even though he killed you, or shot you in the head. It, it, it's very disturbing, but also very, you know, reflective of the hilarious dark humor of Fallout in general. So, uh, what do you have in mind? To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best and this is house. another casino suite you, you can get. Of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Uh... Two conditions lose the bodyguards, and we both go to the suite now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, <laughs> when my trust my ass. Takes, follow me. I got my eye on you. Alright, so, uh, this has been about 15 minutes, so I think we're gonna end it here for today. This seems like a good point, as we are... About to go confront eye Benny. Eye uh, obviously, his ambush will not work because Willow is here uh, at a very high level and has a gun, so she'll just mow him down immediately. Not him, but his bodyguards down immediately. But uh, hopefully, uh, next video will be up on Wednesday. Uh, I hope to have uh, Fook, uh, 
Project Nevada, all that stuff uh, back up again. So yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching. This has been episode 67 of my New Vegas Let's Play. Sorry for the absence, but I'm back, and we will be proceeding pretty much straight through the main quest at this point till the end. Uh, and knocking out occasional side quests along the way, because we're, we're getting up there in level, so I figured it's about time to start uh, winding this down. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later.